Awesome. Perfect. We can see that. Yeah. Awesome. That's perfect. Thank you. Um, so we're here today with the UPS Senate Union to speak a couple um, of things about the volunteering opportunities that we have. But first, for introductions, um, I'm Lena, as Diego mentioned, and I'm the Marketing and Communications Manager for the UPS Senate Union. So a lot of my job is to make sure that our socials are up to date, sending out the newsletter to students, as well as co-managing the Fox and Crows um, Instagram as well. But most importantly, and that kind of relates directly to this presentation, is that I am in charge of the street team, which is a group of students that help us volunteer for any events that we have. Um, and with me, I have Divya as well. All right, hello everyone. My name is Divya and I am the Vice President Student Life for this academic year. Um, part of my portfolio involves uh, making events and campaigns on campus as well as helping oversee the mini clubs and societies that we have. Awesome. So um, the way that kind of Divya and I work together is to ensure that for her events and campaigns, we have volunteers to help out, um, which is why she's here today to kind of give you an overview of, about how um, to be involved with us. Um, so the very first one, as I just mentioned, is the UPISU street team. Um, so what is the street team in general? Um, it consists of a specific number of students who assist the UPI Student Union, but mostly myself and Divya, in various capacities throughout the year. Um, the responsibilities of volunteers um, vary a lot, but they include activities such as distributing posters around campus. And most recently, uh, I'm not sure if any of you have been in the W. Murphy Student Center, but they were the students who have helped us in decorating um, the Student Union Staircase, as well as Macmillan Hall for our five days of cheer campaign. Um, so they made everything look very Christmassy and very beautiful. And again, we're always very grateful to have more volunteers um, helping us to make sure that everything looks nice. Um, so again, the nature of their duties, however, adapts based on the specific event being organized. Um, for example, um, a lot of what their duties might consist of is, for example, during the clubs and societies fair, they might be the people who are handing out water um, to the clubs and societies present on that day, as well as um, putting things together, together or tearing down. Um, it's very easy to join the street team, um, so you can just send us an email at communications at upisu.ca, which is my email, and you express your interest, and then we'll add you to the group of volunteers that will help us throughout the year. Um, so basically, anytime we need help, we'll be sure to send you an email and ask you for your availability to come and show up. Um, we're not very strict, and we're always trying to work around people's timelines. Um, with myself, we do have our social media coordinator who helps us manage the street team. So she herself is a student, so we're very mindful of that as well. Um, so that's kind of an overview of the street team. And now are some reasons why you should join us. Yeah, so why should you join the UP, uh, UPISU street team? So we do recognize that volunteers are a big part of making events and campaigns successful. So because of that, we do have a volunteer of the year award, which is usually given to the volunteer who helps us out, helps us out the most. Uh, their name is also added to the UPISU website just to, again, show, show some recognition and appreciation for the student. Um, the volunteer of the year recipient also gets a very special invite to the UPISU end of your banquet where they have the opportunity to meet different stakeholders such as UPISU administrative staff or faculty and other staff as well. Uh, very often also different staff member, members will kind of write le letters of recommendation for our student volunteers, which is again amazing because it helps um, strengthen their resume as well. Yeah. In addition to that, um, if you're not, you know, crafty or you cannot help out in um, these kind of situations, you can also volunteer in a leadership role with the UPISU and you'll be part of the UPISU Council. Um, so what is the UPISU Council? Um, if you are interested, it does consist of student leaders um, who are elected during the UPISU fall elections, which are held, which is held annually. Um, there will be more details to follow in January for our big elections. Um, for our winter elections this time. Um, so these individuals, so our students, they serve as faculty representatives representing disciplines like arts, science, business, and engineering, or as representatives of all students, such as the Board of Governors and Senate representatives. Um, it's not mentioned there, however, we do have representatives who also um, represent a specific group of campus, such as the first year rep and international student rep. 
Um, so the role of our council is to keep the executives accountable for their work. Um, so as I said, Divya is an executive herself. So this year, along with her, the president, VPAX, VP Finance are all held accountable by council. So you will be part of that group if you are elected. Um, so basically, council is the governing body of the UPISU. And your jobs uh, will be to attend biweekly meetings on Sunday during the school year, as well as um, attend some committees within the student union. Um, additionally, as written there, you also receive priority to join internal or external committees, either with the student union or UPI in general. Um, although these student leaders volunteer for council, they do receive compensation at the end of for their service. Um, so in the end, in April, based on the amount of work that you have done and your contributions at the discretion of the chair of council, um, you do receive an amount for um, a compensation amount just to have given us your time and effort during the school year. Okay, so how can you join the UPI SU Council? Um, usually you will be elected in our elections or by elections during which most of the seats are filled. However, in the situation where there are vacant seats on council, we do go by an appointment process where um, people just send in their resumes and then we have an interview process after which uh, the seat is filled with the best representative. Yeah, and just a kind of a disclaimer, we are different from UPI. So whenever you are volunteering for us, you're volunteering for the student union and not UPI in general. However, we do work closely in terms of, you know, joining committees as well as making sure that student voices are represented, are represented on committees with the UPI administration. So council is just an amazing way to be involved. But again, if you're not interested in leadership roles, it's always very easy to join us through volunteering um, you know, on the more crafty side. Um, but this is very briefly um, everything that we had and we're happy to answer any questions. But if you do want to stay up to date with us, we are at UPISU on all platforms and we're very up to date on there. Um, so be sure to follow us if you're not already. And thank you a lot.